Old metals sometimes uh, have this interesting effect where most of the material is pretty worn and aged. So like this example here. But some areas which get handled uh, the most, like the con convex areas, some rounded shapes or handles or stuff like that, uh, become polished from use and from, uh, from the hands touching them. So they look some somewhat like this, nice and polished. So we can simulate this effect on our test object by creating a new V-Ray very blend material and connecting those two materials together. Okay, and since we want this effect to be visible on the convex areas, we're just going to use the tension modifier. Okay, let's uh, set the settings to default. Toggle on vertex colors. And let's, uh, let's blur it a bit. Okay, that's better. Bring up the contrast. And make it a bit stronger. So like that. I'm pretty happy with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these vertex colors to blend together these two variations of my metal, mater metal material. So just set up vertex color map in the blend amount slot. Okay, sorry. And don't forget to change the subchannel to green. Okay, try again. And now you have this polished metal in those convex areas and the old version or this uh, aged metal in the rest of the material. So sometimes you might think um, this, uh, this tension map is a bit too perfect and it doesn't look exactly natural. So what you can do is you can um, change those white colors from, uh, from this map to something more interesting like noise. So let's drag a mix right here, use those vertex colors as our mix amount and change the whites from this map to to noise. Okay. And you can see the map in the viewport if you wish. Uh, so you can adjust the size a bit better. Or I think it's best to preview procedural maps with the text map preview script. Okay, size is good, let's change that to fractal, increase the levels and increase the contrast. Okay, and now the resulting effect is a bit, a bit less, less perfect. So this is the mix, let's see how it looks. Right, like that. And I think I want to make those whites stronger, so I'm just going to run the whole thing through an output map. Okay, just enable color map and just increase the contrast by dragging the blacks to the right and whites to the left. And if you preview the map, you can see that it is much stronger at the moment. So, this should give us a pretty interesting looking result. And I think I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so that's how you can add some wear and polish to the convex areas and edges of a metal object.